Thank you. Okay, thanks, Nick. Three companies manufacture completely different products, but they do have one thing in common. They'll be neighbors in a building in Brooklyn. Jennifer Lomber shows us the businesses who are calling it home. Spinning up the taffy and stirring up the sauce. The new Brooklyn Army Terminal Manufacturing Hub officially welcomed its first three tenants today. You're seeing a real community of, of makers of all kinds come in. And, and so what I see in the vision is that every inch of this property is churning out uh, uh, workforce. The 55,000 square foot complex is dedicated strictly to food manufacturing and it's making it a lot easier for small startups in a city where it's getting increasingly tougher to do business. Jorge Moret co-owns City Saucery, a family-run business whose head cook is his partner's mother, Nona. We looked around to find a manufacturing space here in the city and it was pretty impossible. For a younger and, and small manufacturer, it's pretty tough. I mean, you have to be, you have to commit to spaces of like 5,000 square feet. You have to be doing a million dollars in sales. A lot of what we're trying to really push the city is to really create uh, lucrative leases, long-term leases, leases that are uh, a lot lower than the market to allow for these businesses to grow. Businesses like Salty Road Taffy and Momo Dressing, who say not only does the space give them a fighting chance of being successful, it's also a chance to learn from each other. Great for business mm -hmm. because a lot of uh, people want to start their own business and we always connect it to each other and then in, um, exchanging information. As big as the space is, it's only a part of a much larger Brooklyn Army Terminal here in Sunset Park. Designed as a million square foot curated restaurant and shopping arena, the likes of Chelsea Market. And along with these hardworking businesses, the terminal is growing too, adding an extra half million square feet this fall. From Sunset Park, Jennifer Lammers, Fox 5 News.